the 747 jumbo jet, a pilot's dream. The Wright brothers could have begun and ended their first flight within its 225-foot fuselage. And it has done more in the past year to help introduce Americans to the excitement of Europe than any other aircraft in history. Likewise, Renfield has done more than any other importer to introduce the finest European wines and liqueurs to American homes and restaurants. Join us now as we visit some of the great cities of Europe to discover more about the Blue Chip Holiday Line, the ultimate in international quality, and certainly Europe's finest. Classically French and undeniably beautiful, Paris is what history has called the city of lights and what Americans still call the city of love. Known for centuries as the capital of culture in Europe, Paris is a symphony of monuments and fountains, of galleries and shops, of museums and people. Also famous for elegance and charm, Paris has always set the styles in fashion and art for the rest of the world. Sitting in the colorful cafes that dot the wide avenues and promenades, Frenchmen and tourists alike enjoy sipping their favorite drinks while admiring the many beautiful Parisian women. Having finally developed tastes in food and drinks, the French demand the absolute best in quality. Two special favorites are Remy Martin VSOP Cognac and Cointreau Liqueur. Remy Martin is enjoyed by so many because of its delicate fragrance and smooth taste. Cointreau a favorite specialty liqueur is admired because of its uniquely pleasing flavor and versatility. Once considered solely after dinner drinks, both are now enjoyed at any time of the day for any occasion. Parisians thrive on the beauty and richness of their cultural heritage. With its immense and dramatic gardens, the Palace of Versailles is truly a spectacular sight. It was here in 1785 that Florin Louis Heitzig presented a bottle of his great champagne to Marie Antoinette. Piper, a champagne demanded by royalty that is truly worthy of its reputation. It is the world's most famous champagne against which all other champagnes are measured. Its incomparable quality is representative of the beauty that is Paris. Rome, where the spirit of St. Peter and the traditions of Caesar seem to still dominate this sunny and classic city of southern Europe. Here amid the shadows and ruins of once mighty civilizations live some of the most animated and fun-loving people in the world. Today's Romans are happy, true romantics who love to look at the many pieces of native architecture.
one of their favorite traditions is throwing coins into the famous Trevi Fountain, an exciting example of fine Renaissance sculpture. The Trevi Fountain reminds us of another custom, the pure enjoyment of drinking great Italian wines. The people are especially fond of the outstanding vintages from Molini. The sparkling wines of Martini and Rossi's, Asti Spumante, and Reserva Montalera. And the wines from the excellent Lamberti selection. For native Romans and visiting Americans, a toast from these great Renfield wines is always in order. Not far from here is Rome's most popular and picturesque square, the Piazza Navona, a festive meeting place that is dominated by Bernini's famous Fountain of the Four Rivers. And what better place to relax and enjoy yet more of Rome's exquisite architecture. Enjoyed here also is the world's most popular aperitif, Martini and Rossi's Vermouth sweet or dry. Americans as well as Italians respect its ideal taste, whether it be with soda, on the rocks, or in the perfect martini. Served in the finest homes, cafes and restaurants, Martini and Rossi, the world's largest selling vermouth, has always enjoyed great popularity as the before-dinner drink that brings out the best in good food. Edinburgh is a surprising combination of the old and the new. A city of green parks and grazing sheep, of quaint streets and charming shops, and above all, a city of genuinely friendly people. It took many years of hard work and care to build Edinburgh's famous castle. And this same care and dedication goes into the making of a good Scotch whiskey. It's the little things in life that can make a man feel like a millionaire. A quiet drive home, good company, and a waiting glass of 12-year-old Scotch whiskey. Renfield understands and knows why Hague and Hague Pinch can be the only Scotch for such moments. You can see it in the clear, smooth way it pours a richness of spirit that is unmatched by any other scotch. To taste pinch is to taste a bit of what's best in life. And of course, the oldest name in scotch, Haig. It's the quality 86 proof whiskey that faithful admirers have insisted on since 1627. A truly international favorite. Just ask a Scotsman. Don't be vague. Ask for Hague. The Scots rejoice in a good value. And there's no better reason to celebrate than with King William Scotch. King 
William is so good, it was appointed as the official scotch of the royal family. Yet, it's a pleasant surprise to the thrifty. The Scots are a proud people and realize that for centuries, distillers the world over have tried to imitate true Scotch whiskey and failed. From this land of beverage specialists, is it any wonder Pinch, Haig, and King William are the excellent Renfield choices of the greatness found in true Scotch whiskey? It's true what they say about London, a dynamic metropolis populated by Europe's most determined and spirited people. One such man was Alexander Gordon, who over 200 years ago sought to discover the perfect gin. Working in the heart of London on Goswell Road, he eventually succeeded, and soon his crystal clear gin became the world's standard of all gins. Today, Gordon's Gin is the greatest mover among gins. Gordon's is in, and so is London. I love everything, so don't it make you feel sad? But even in London, a man can find a time and a place to relax. And there's no better way to take it easy than with Gordon's vodka. People have already learned that Gordon's quality has inspired the only vodka with a patent on smoothness. Gordon's vodka is the fastest growing vodka in the industry. Renfield's blue chip holiday line speaks an international language. In every city, in every country, one thing is clear. Enjoyment is unanimous and universal. How do you measure this enjoyment? What is it that can span continents, speak every language, and know no boundaries? Perhaps it is the smile of people when they have experienced a sensation that makes them feel a little better, that makes them appreciate life a little more. Renfield thinks that a smile on the face of your customer speaks that language. Mm -hmm. 